philosophy studies how things hang together at the most fundamental level. That might be examining moral or political values, it might be examining the fundamental constituents of reality. What philosophy does is look behind the curtain and ask the toughest questions that no other subject can address. Another thing that's special about philosophy at Cambridge is the particular way in which you're taught in very small groups, often one-on-one -on -one is what your supervisions might be in philosophy. And so that means that you really have the opportunity to explore your thinking on a particular topic. What I love about the philosophy course is the fact that it acknowledges that philosophy is such a broad subject, from epistemology to metaphysics to classical philosophy. It gives undergraduates a chance to specialise in a field. Well, I really love philosophy and I'm also really intrigued by the analytic tradition that the faculty here has. Philosophy at Cambridge has brought about, so there's loads of famous philosophers which really intrigue me, really interest me. The philosophy course at Cambridge is a three-year programme of study that tackles some of the most fundamental questions. Questions about freedom and justice, about consciousness and the mind, about the ultimate nature of reality and about logic, reason and truth itself. So as students move through the course, they move from being given a kind of background in those core concepts and tools to having the opportunity to really choose for themselves the kinds of topics that they're interested in and put together their own course. Philosophy is taught partly through lectures, partly through seminars, and of course the very distinctive thing about Cambridge is that it is also taught by individual supervisions just you and an expert in a given subject and grapple with incredibly complex, incredibly difficult intellectual problems and get specialised, personalised feedback on your own work. Facilities and resources for philosophy here are really good. Um, you have, we have access to a range of different books, any book you can really think of. Obviously you've got the University Library that's got a copy of pretty much every book that's ever been uh, printed in the UK. A typical week is full of lectures, seminars and supervisions, also a lot of independent work which I quite enjoy. The main bulk of my week is writing my supervision essay, is you do one essay every week, so I'll have a, a list of readings to do and then I'll go to my supervision and discuss the essay with my supervisor. In my spare time I actually cox for my college rowing team. Outside of philosophy I run a weekly radio show. Cambridge has got a really good theatre scene and I found that a really good way to sort of keep doing something creative and a bit more expressive while I was doing the academic side of things. Employers look on philosophy graduates very favourably because they come out with a set of skills that can be applied to a wide range of different careers. They often go into finance, law, consultancy, they can go into the civil service, they can work for NGOs and charities. So my plans for after graduation are to study human rights and then after that I'd really like to go into the field, help people out, um, especially within LGBTQ plus communities because that's an area of interest for me. It's a very welcoming place. If you like philosophy you'll be very happy here. There are so many opportunities to broaden your knowledge, explore philosophy and truly fall in love with what you want to study. Yeah.